guess it's fair though for um, for a park this size. They would use. I mean, that's you know, a very simple thing to use is wood. Um, even when I was working at Kings Island, they um, they have a huge carpentry shop. Um, I didn't know how big it was until I accidentally went into it one day. And when I say accidentally, it's a really funny. It's a, it's a bit of an odd story, but um, in food service, we actually had a couple different warehouses throughout the park. Um, and one one of them we called small wares, and these were, uh, if you, you know, I mean, small wares for us was things like spatulas, um, knives, small uh, smaller pots and pans, and things like that. Um, things that uh, we would need, but we don't, you know, we wouldn't necessarily you know, go out to get every day. And we were storing, we we had uh, we were cleaning out uh, a stand. And we just we we were like, hey, we're gonna go put them back in smallwares so we can we don't have to worry about them anymore. Um, and I had no idea where it was. And the manager uh, I was with, I, I, I was still an assistant manager at that point, but the manager's like, here, you and I will walk back there. We'll find it. You know, they can't be that hard to find. So we we were walking. We, we were walking through Kings Island, and fair enough, we walked. It was we knew kind of where it was. Um, but uh, we didn't know exactly where it was, which is kind of our first problem. Uh, but because of that, we actually ended up um, under these. We actually walked underneath one of the roller coasters, which we could have. It was an employee-only path, um, so we couldn't walk under the roller coaster. And we ended up in the. So it, it almost looked like a small lumber yard back in our carpentry shop. Um, but then we realized we went too far, and we we, we eventually found it, thankfully. But uh, you know, I. Uh, all of a sudden, you you know you're walking back there, and you think you're like in the middle of the park, and all of a sudden you're in a lumber yard, which is hilarious. So, so there is going to be our adventure outpost. I kind of like how that looks, kind of the nice, or not really. I have uh, it's kind of the the overhang. I, I like how that looks there, and putting these up gave me you know, reminded me of a story that uh, it happened you know when I was at Kings Island. So management wanted us to put more decorations up around our store and this is when I was working at Coney Potato Works and um, so we did we actually uh, we had a scale up in front of our store um, and what we would do is we would they would put potatoes in there and you had to be pretty tall to actually reach them and I'm six foot seven so I could reach them pretty easily but we think figured and eh, you know people would be reasonable and not grab them out of there now those ropes hang a little lower than I'd like them to so let's not do that um, anyways uh, we uh, we were I was working one day and all of a sudden I heard this loud thud no idea what I mean it was a pretty good thud and I thought somebody had fallen so I'm looking around I don't see anybody and we knew it happened outside but uh, didn't quite know what was going on and didn't really think much of it, uh, but apparently somebody had taken one of those potatoes. It was probably a teenager, if I had to guess, so, something like that. I don't really know who it was. We didn't, you know, they found out who it was, and it was they were properly reprimanded. But um, somebody had taken one of our potatoes out of our scales, and we were actually under the. Um, if you ever go to Kings Island, uh, one of their big coasters, or actually their second biggest coaster now, because. They're about to open Orion uh, when the park reopens. Um, we were actually right under the hill for Diamondback, which is a, it's a, um, oh shoot, what kind of coaster is it? It's not a Giga coaster, but it's very similar. It's not as tall as the Giga coaster. Um, but somebody had taken one of our, our potatoes from that scale and uh, got on Diamondback, somehow snuck it onto the ride, and then from the top of Diamondback, dropped it off onto the pavement, onto the ground. You can almost see why people are a little afraid because there could have been somebody walking by at that point and hit him in the head. And that thud was actually the potato splatting on the ground. Um, so after that, we didn't have to worry about putting decorations up. But uh, yeah, it was not a, a good way to, to, to do that. So why people do stuff like that, I'm not really sure. But uh, that uh, I remember that happening and... Uh, Management called us pretty quickly and told us not to put any more decorations up. After they told us to put decorations up, we'll, we'll just put it like that. That was not uh, something we wanted to do, but uh, we did it for them, and it kind of backfired. So let's go ahead and head over first to the front of the ride, the station itself. Um, 
this was pretty much barren. There was no roof. There was just these stakes here, and we we've really kind of, uh, kind of really I think added to it. We added the plane and all the wood up front here. We did curb the path a little bit, and things like that. So I think that looks really great now. Um, did a lot of work on this front end here. Uh, the next thing we did, we actually did work on the station. I mean, underside itself. It does have a uh, good amount of lights. Still some light uh, decoration along here, uh, but we do have our lost luggage thing. And uh, a little bit of a joke there. Uh, if I could put a key under there, I so would. Um, so there is that. Uh, just a little more decoration here. Um, if we exit out here, though, we can kind of see uh, in the queue line here, we can kind of see the new foliage and the cliff side that we're working on. It looks pretty great, if I do say so myself. Uh, and then we go over here to our new adventure outpost, which I think, you know, it's starting to come together. It's not maybe not perfect. There might be a couple other things that maybe add some more trim to it, especially around the building itself. Um, we do need to add the photos into the uh, photo area, but I think that'll look really good once we get that done. Um, let's see. And then the next thing we worked on, we kind of worked on the peninsula here. We actually, there was nothing here on the peninsula when we started, but... Uh, now we have this nice foliage kind of barrier between the station itself and the ride. Let me just get the ride going here so you guys can see that. And then kind of the last thing we finished up with is this cliff side here, which looks is starting to look really nice, um, especially if we get all the uh, the waterfalls going when the ride comes through, which I think there was one about to, one about to come down the splash here. Um, and I think we also need to work on this side maybe a little bit more. Um, we'll have to run some pipes along here as well. There you can see here, uh, the rides look really nice. It, it, I always think it looks nice when there's people walking around in there. It actually looks like it's like a living, breathing thing. Or something that could be uh, a, a, a true thing in, in life. So, I this looks really nice now. There's a lot of people coming over here, which I wanted to see. The falls look great. It just it, It's starting to come together a lot better than I thought it would. Um, so, yeah, there is that. There is Thunder Falls uh, Station done. Um, well, the stream done, I should say. I mean our guy exploring around here and we hit the fountain of youth so this is an interesting thing so usually there's only one of these in the game uh, I've found multiple ones before but so essentially right now uh, we are going to get uh, so we've discovered the fountain of youth uh, this is kind of the uh, rumor of this is out there uh, so now we get like eight free colonists which in the uh, starting game is pretty neat Elder Statesman for free, we'll get an Expert Farmer, we'll get another free Colonist, uh, we'll get an Indentured Servant, Expert or Minor Sure, Indentured Servant, and so yeah, so we just got a bunch of free Colonists there. Uh, and I'll go ahead and get this guy, see what we got here. Remember when I said that uh, we, we can find the Fountain of the Youth twice? Uh, we just found it again. Uh, yeah, Master Fur Trader, sure, Master Carpenter, it's going to help us with our new town. There's another free master distiller, extra lumberjack. So we got a new town set up now. Uh, let's take some criminals, some free colonists. Uh, all right, so that pretty much built our new town. Go us. Um, essentially, what that's going to do is I'm going to give my veteran soldier. That's Fountain of Youth number three, by the way. Uh, so let's see what we got. Uh, Carpenter, Colonist, Scout, another Hardy Pioneer, awesome. Another Scout, and we got a Servant. Silver Miner might be pretty good. Extra Fishman, there we go. Uh, so that's Fountain of Youth number three. You know, people say that, uh, uh, people say that there was only one, and they couldn't even find one. I found three in an hour and a half, so. Yeah, that's pretty, uh, pretty good. Where do we got? Next group of guys at be over here looks like. Call over commander. Oh, all right. Well, those were assault mechs. What? They just dropped two assault mechs on us. This is not going to be fun. Um. Hmm. Well, this might end badly for us. I think they figured out where, uh, what we're trying to do here. Alright, 
it looks like the first one's gonna be a battle master. That's this I think that it was around the corner first. Yeah, it looks like it is. Alright, well. Just gotta be careful, line up our shots, and hopefully we can take this down thing down faster. Uh, see if we can cook its head maybe. Trying to headshot it because that's be the easiest way to take it out. No duh. Come on, guys, we need to get up here faster. Yes. All right, there's one down. Not what I wanted to see right this second here, but uh, that's a catapult. Let's take him out next. Yeah, it's an awesome. Well, it's not. Well, it's not awesome, but uh, eh, boo, bad joke. Eh, it's actually not as bad as I thought it was. Let's actually take this guy out next, guys. This guy's got a lot of PPCs on him. Or. Usually this guy carries a lot of PPCs, but he's only carrying uh, um, a large laser and a, a small laser if I can get up on close and personal with him. Because that might have been a headshot kill. Alright, catapult, next one. Two other M15s. Probably you walk up on this guy, he can't do anything, so. That's always nice. And this one we can actually take it out by just knocking off the two pods on either side. Um, which might be easier, uh, considering uh, uh, these things are pretty tough. But, uh, We got one off. Now he's only got he's only got an LRM fifteen left. He's about to lose that pod too. There he goes. All right. Well, let's. Uh, we got two cicadas left. And we are not doing too well with the grasshopper. Hopefully, that's uh, the last uh, big lance we see here. So we, I don't know if we can take out much more than this. And this cicada might be stuck up there. If that's true, that's okay. Well, Unable, Commander. Sorry. Moving to your station for support. we uh we made it through that, so uh, kudos to us. I'm missing a weapon. I don't know what that would be though. It's a machine gun. I'm missing. Well, I'm okay with missing a machine gun if, if that's all I lost in that fight. I got a feeling it might be a little bit harder now. We get nine enemies left. We're going to take out besides this guy. And let's just drop a whole like assault lance on us. That'd be our luck. Can you drop like eight tanks and like a? Uh, oh man, they dropped f two more assault mechs, didn't they? It's a blackjack. That's a uh, shoot. 
to Victor, maybe. Yeah, they're not kidding around on this mission. This is a little difficult. I'm trying to work my lance to form back up. Oh yeah, they're coming roll right out. Coming right out after us. This is not gonna be a fun one. I'm trying to launch missiles, or I'm just trying to stay back a little bit so that uh, hopefully we don't uh, get our butts handed to us. All right, this guy, we got it. Well. Take out the blackjack first because he's right here. I don't know if I'm gonna have to restart the mission, I got a feeling. Okay. Indicator is right behind or is uh behind this guy. This guy guys. There's a Marauder, there's a, uh, man, this is not going to end well. Alright, that guy's down. Where's the next, where's the other guy at? Right there. Take him out. Now. He's lost his AC-20, which is better than a... Well, this isn't going to end well. Come on, restart. Come on. There we go. Still overheating like a madman, but... Uh, Focus target received, Commander. I don't know how everybody's still alive. I really don't. Weapons. I'm missing out of out of ammo on my missiles. This isn't going well. Oh, but I have my LRM10 and I've got my three medium lasers left. That is it. Enemy tech eliminated. Cool. All right. Well, I cannot see at all. Uh, it's the Jaeger mech. I'm not too worried about that one. This is the one I'm more worried about. Saw me. I was trying to try not to move very much, and hopefully he would focus some other guys. Because uh, right now I'm not that much of a threat. And the, the three medium lasers are still uh, three still potent things, but uh, not as deadly as like the AC-20 on that hunchback. All right, last thing, Jaeger Mac. Cool. Two weapons gone. Holy cow, I think we're gonna do this. There's a tank left. It's a harasser laser platform. I gotta find it though. Where is he at? Let me at him. Come on, where is he at? There he is. I mean, it's, it's actually a scorpion light tank. Come on, let me around here. Don't knock the building down. We actually are going to do this. I don't believe this at all.
That should be all of them, right? Oh. Oh, that was, uh, that was, that was rough. They dropped, what, three heavies, four assaults. I don't know how many medium max. My lord, that was difficult. And we didn't lose anybody. How? I, I really don't know how we didn't lose somebody in that fight. Oh, that was awesome. That, well, there was an awesome. We took it out. Battlemaster and awesome. Ah, uh, there's a dino. Oh, this is a interesting little cockpit. What I do need to probably walk up this hill now. One thing about assault mechs that you've probably already noticed, they are slow as anything. So we can look around the cockpit. Oh, we, we kind of can a little bit. Maybe, at the, maybe after the next mission we can look around, but look at this thing. It's kind of like the big brother to the catapult, so... I'm okay with this. Let's see what we can do with it, though. That's kind of what I'm kind of worried about. I don't know what I'm going to be able to do with it. Okay, missiles cannot go through buildings. Got it. See if I can smash through here. I can, so. Smash through the wall? I sure can. Get a big enough mech, I can just smash through these big walls now. Alright, let's see what this thing can do now. Not bad so far. Okay, I, I, I'm uh, happy with this so far. Maybe I, I maybe the uh, lance is doing better. I don't know. It's or very well. It's, this this could just be overwhelming firepower. I'm kind of hoping for the second one, but I got a feeling it could be a little bit of both. <laughs> we can probably actually go back and do that one mission now. Maybe I don't know. So we really didn't. We upgraded one mech, which we were what 45 tons under, and so I only went up to. We only went up 15 tons with this thing, so we're still only, we're still 30 tons under what we could be dropping for that mission. So I really don't know what we can do with that one or not. I hit the wrong button, but uh, that worked too. I meant to hit the large lasers on that one, but uh, I hit the wrong button there and uh, fire off four of the mediums. Alright, well, I th this thing is, I mean, fair enough, this speed is not great. I'll be honest here. But what it lacks in just speed, it just makes up the raw firepower, and I like it. I think this will be a good, uh, at least, command mech for now. I might switch it over to somebody else once I get an Atlas or something like that. But, you know, I, I could be happy with this thing right now. Uh, Ryan, you're in my way.
I, the more I, I the more I pile this mech, the more I realize it, it. Yeah, it's probably just me hitting him this hard with this mech. It's probably what's doing all this damage. I mean, four pinpointed lasers, and that's quite a lot of lasers on one point. So that's fair. See that other little uh, helicopter? I guess they took him out though, so that's good at least. Cruising at a solid 48 kilometers an hour. Just walk through like an apartment building. That's not great. Now, I really haven't gotten to a big fight yet, but it seems like this thing's not is managing heat pretty well. Take the Shadowhawk out first. At least from what I can tell, it seems like it's managing pretty heat or heat pretty well. I think there's a building just fell over for some reason. Look at that Shadowhawk right here. Oh, there's the cicada right in front of me. Like, what in the world is the cicada doing? I thought it was one of our ally ones, but it was not. So, yeah, now we're over here. I'm starting to overheat a little bit. Just gotta be a little more careful, that's all. Uh, he's he's on the ropes now. Quick draw is not. For some reason our quick draw is like our uh, heavy shadow hawk. It just takes. It seems like it takes a lot of hits and usually loses quite a few lasers up for us. But uh, walk through the building, I don't really care. Ooh, yeah, I, I, that's a, a pretty lethal combination. That's six lasers and SRM-12. SRM that's pretty, uh, pretty good in my book. So we got about ten more left. I wouldn't go over that mountain. Oh well. We got over here. I got it. Copy. Last target Wow, that was, uh, that was impressive. Oh, hold on. That one, we need to take out first. That's a Warhammer. That's what the mech that was uh, taking us out in that one mission. You know what? I feel a little more uh, confident with this mech. I probably shouldn't, but, uh, you know. All right. One arm gone. Alright, well, you know what? 
uh, the stalker has really kind of gained my admiration today. And then it shuts itself down. I don't know if these mechs are 100% uh, up to par almost. Like, it seems like they're not 100% armored or something like that. Or I'm just doing that much damage to them. It could be either one. I mean, fair enough. This is an assault mech. This is what it's supposed to do. We're about to lose a pod, though, and I don't know which one it is. Because this thing really doesn't have arms on it. It has pods for arms. But you know what? I think... Time for us to get out of here. We've done a lot of damage already, and, uh... I can be kind of happy with it. I gotta find a good dinosaur name for this one. I, I, it's got this one has to have a nickname of some sort. I just don't know what. We are leaving, by the way. Yep, that's what I was afraid of. We lost all four medium lasers. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and leave. They lost both pods tonight. Yeah, that's the one thing about this mech, though. You can very, very easily lose those two pods, and there's a lot of weapons in those. So, gotta be careful a little bit. Uh, yeah, I think we'll be just, we'll be okay. I mean, thankfully they're just medium lasers. And the LRM-10 might, the SRM-6 I think might be the hardest thing for us to find. We have earned a, a hundred, uh, 105, 106, just almost $107,000 in bonus payment though. So that's pretty good. But yeah, the, the, the stalker has really gained my uh, admiration now. This thing's, uh, Pretty lethal thing if you can keep the heat down. Contact successful. Time to get paid. Okay. Enemy mech down. We actually got a, we might have just got more money there too. It's been awesome. Well alrighty then, we have to fix a a stalker now, but uh 